NFL regular season. After the Carolina Panthers made that bold move to go for the number one pick in the NFL draft to secure quarterback Bryce Young atop a new coaching staff, Sunday finally provided a glimpse into the future of the team with a season opener on the road against the Atlanta Falcons. He throws, it's caught, and Bryce Young has his first NFL touchdown pass. Bryce Young and the Panthers rose to the occasion early, but by the second half, the game belonged to the Falcons. The Panthers wound up losing their season over 24 to 10 against Atlanta. Here's head coach Frank Reich just a few hours ago. Confident in our guys, um, you know, we'll just have to do, you know, we just have to execute a little bit better in all areas. So um, just have to execute better, have to put them in better position, have to execute better. Uh, and I'm confident we will. And joining me now to talk more about the Panthers game is Sports Director Nate Wimberly. Yep. Nate, good to have you with us here yep. tonight. Hey, we just saw Frank Reich talking. Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about Bryce Young, but let's talk about Frank Reich just a mm -hmm. moment. And from a coaching perspective, this was his first regular season game for the Panthers. How'd he do, do you think? I think he did an okay job. Uh, he took kind of onus uh, for the first interception that uh, Bryce made. He said he kind of made a, a call that he shouldn't have, and it maybe put him in a bad position to where it allowed uh, Jesse Bates to, to make that pick. But all in all, I think they called a, a good game. He, he, he is, of course, the offensive uh, coordinator right now, or he's the play caller, I'm sorry, he's mm -hmm. the play caller Thomas Brown is the offense coordinator so I think he called a pretty good game um, and for three quarters you know th things were going well and then a couple plays kind of got them off track got them down 14 points and then it's just straight pass and then the Atlanta Falcons can pin their ears back and come out the Bryce and that's when they got a couple of uh, sacks but all in all I think coach uh, Wright did a good job yesterday. okay that's good news then all right let's go to Bryce Young yeah. then he had two interceptions. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a fumble as well. That wasn't his fault. Yep. But uh, tell us about those two interceptions and, and his overall performance. Well, I, I, you know, all in, it was, if I were to grade it out, I would grade it a, a low B. You know, mm -hmm. B minus. Yeah. Um, there was some good. There was some bad. Uh, with the with Jesse Bates getting both interceptions. Now, uh, very interesting. After the game, Jesse Bates says, "I jumped both of those routes because there was no threat for deep route." So he's the safety. He's supposed to be back there. We're looking for the. the there was no there, there's no speed right now. DJ Chark is not playing, so there's really no speed guy that they can take the top off of it and get that safety. Uh, to be honest, so he was just kind of sitting there, and Bryce uh, didn't see him that first time, and, and you know he's gonna get he's gonna get got like that. But you know, rookie's gonna make these mistakes. Oh yeah, they're gonna yeah. make these mistakes. It, this is a part of the process. He's mm -hmm. gonna he's gonna have some bad throws in games, and it's gonna be an interception where it's like, what were you thinking? It's like th they've got to go through this to be able to. He, he was the best. He's smart. He's poised. He's all of that. But he hasn't been on an NFL field until yesterday in real live NFL action. So you know, he's gonna go through this process, and you know, I don't know. He, he threw the ball away when he needed to. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he had some great throws. He threw a touchdown pass, and you know, he made some great throws and, and got the team moving. And with all of that, the, 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 the they ran the ball well too. Yeah. Even with all the problems of not having a deep threat, they outgained Atlanta in every statistical category. Mm -hmm. You know, running, passing. Total, of course, is just those three turnovers, and that'll get you every time. Three to nothing in the turnover battle. You're not going to win many games. Do like you that. think it was the turnovers that oh, lost yes. the game for yes, him? Absolutely. It wasn't like the defense. It wasn't the offense so much. It was just the 17 turnovers. points from Atlanta came off of turnovers. Turnovers. They scored 24 points. Take those turnovers away. Carolina Panthers probably win this game. Wow. It's just that simple, in my opinion. They got a pretty good one coming up here. Yes. So uh, Monday night football, next Monday night, <laughs> New Orleans Saints, Bank of America Stadium. Oh, it's going to be gonna good. Be fun. All right, Nate Wimberly, thank you so much, yeah. Nate. Appreciate it.